always so thankful for the support that the community gives us. It's been a wonderful day. There was a large turnout in the Highlands today for another year of great floats and good throws ahead of St. Patrick's Day. You're watching Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. The streets are now clear in the Highlands after the 51st annual St. Patrick's Parade wrapped up this afternoon. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes was there to catch it all and a few throws too. Well, there were plenty of good throws along the parade route, plus the perfect weather conditions after a very rainy week. That's a good thing for many at Louisvillians with a whole lot to celebrate. For the last 10 days, I've been looking at the weather and we got a blessing. The rain moved out of here and we had a beautiful day for the parade and it's just been very special. Call it the luck of the Irish. Thousands flooded along the streets of the Highlands. Not a single raindrop fell to interrupt the fun along the parade route. With more than 100 groups weaving their way through the crowd of green, there were lots of beads thrown, lots of candy in kids' pockets, and lots of beer to go around. It's a beautiful day to be Irish, right? It doesn't matter if it's sunny or rainy or cloudy. We're always Irish all the time. For Johnny Chalk and his family, the annual parade has become an annual tradition, celebrating the green and orange heritage threaded deep into the fabric of Louisville's culture. My family is from uh, County Cork and County Galway, uh, from Ireland. So, and actually, if you Google the uh, Chalk Pub Group, we have nine pubs in Ireland. So, this is a family tradition for the Chalks. That's a similar story for so many in the city, including those who hoisted their family names up high along the route. The ancient order of Hibernians puts the event on to honor those families and their heritage, but it also has a way of bringing the whole community together. All of us, you know, either we're working or we have kids or we're doing whatever in our lives. Every year we do come together. Every year. We are. So that's beautiful. I've lived in Louisville for four years and this is my third time coming out here. It is the best parade there is. So I've lived in all of Kentucky, but this is by far the best St. Patty's Day celebration. Of course, the celebrations are happening just a little early this year, but there will be no shortage of events happening on St. Patrick's Day in Louisville. That's Thursday, March 17th, so keep an eye out for wherever you are wanting to go. Alina Noakes with News.